burners affect nearly one in 10 people worldwide. Here to share warning signs in younger children is Dr. Erica Lee, a psychologist at Boston Children's Hospital. Nice to see you, Doctor. Thank hey, Doctor Lee, there. it's great to see you. So, as you know, the stereotype of someone with an eating disorder is a white, affluent teenage girl. But what's reality? Yeah, that's a great question. So we do know that girls are at higher risk, but in fact, an individual of any gender, any race, and any socioeconomic background can develop an eating disorder. And actually, we think that boys are more likely to be underdiagnosed for an eating disorder because a lot of people think that they just can't develop one, even though the research shows that about 25% of those who have anorexia are male. Mm -hmm. And another thing that's important to know is that while people often imagine that someone with an eating disorder is someone who's underweight, you know, there are individuals who have eating disorders who can either be the expected weight or even overweight. Doctor, the National Eating Disorders Association says that it has seen children as young as five or six years old diagnosed with an eating disorder. So what are we learning about risk factors? Yeah, this is a fantastic question. What it really emphasizes to us is that the messages that we give to kids about diet, about body image, about what it means to be attractive, these things make an important difference even when they're very young. Because kids are smart and they pick up on the fact that they're being raised in a culture that idealizes thinness and that being thin is attractive. And we also know that kids who start to worry about things like their weight or their body image when they're young can continue to worry about those things for years. And other risk factors that come to mind are things like being bullied or teased about your mm -hmm. weight when you're young, mm -hmm. having a history of dieting, or having a family member who has a history of disordered eating. And, and, and Dr. Lee, many, many parents might think, oh, my kid is just a picky eater, or oh, it's only a phase that they're going through. But what are the signs that it could be something more serious than that? Right. So we almost everyone knows at least one kid who's a picky eater. But with disordered eating, it's a little bit different. So things that you want to look out for are kids who start to obsess about their weight or body image. Maybe they have a really distorted sense of what their bodies actually look like and versus how they feel about their bodies. Sometimes kids or teens will start to make really strict rules around their diet, like which categories of food they can have, when they can have certain foods, when they can't have certain foods. Mm -hmm. And if they don't follow those rules, they start mm -hmm. to get really upset. And then another set of red flags is are kids actually doing anything intentionally to change their body shape or weight. So they're restricting how much they eat, they're over exercising, or they're using something even like laxatives. Uh, let's talk about getting help. Where should parents start, doctor? Yeah, so absolutely. So if you have concerns about your child's sort of body image or what they're saying about their weight, you know, I would start by just trying to talk to them in a calm, open and supportive way. You know, let them know that you are there to understand what's going on for them and then to help. And then in terms of people to talk to, so it's always good to talk with your child's pediatrician because this is someone who's known your family and knows your child well. Or if you want to talk to somebody at school, you could also think about talking to a school guidance counselor. And the National Eating Disorders Association also has some really helpful resources. So they've got a text and a call helpline that parents can use to to access resources. And they also got a nice screening questionnaire, like a self-help tool on their website for teens ages 13 and up. Dr. Lee, great to see you. Thanks for your advice. Thank you, doctor. Good to see you. Take care. Stay well. To our